All right, welcome back. So all this month, we're helping you create a new you in 22. And this week is dedicated to resolutions solutions. Here with tips on how to get organized at home is professional organization expert with over 1 million YouTube subscribers, Alejandra Castello. Good morning, Alejandra. Good morning. Why is it so important for us to start the new year getting organized? Well, since it's the new year and a lot of us are setting goals, making time to get organized now is going to set a foundation so our future self has an easier time achieving our goals without the distraction of clutter slowing us down. Clutter really is the big distractor. It is overwhelming. It can consume people. Um, how do you go about uh, getting, getting, letting go of things that you think you need to hang on to? Yeah, so one way to let go is to focus on the gain. So what are you gonna gain by letting go as opposed to what are you losing out? Because letting go can feel like a sense of loss, but if you flip it and focus on the gain, it can be a lot easier to let go. All right, let's get into some tips. What do you have for us? Yeah, so a great first step is to create a daily habit of putting things away that are out of place. So grab a timer, you're gonna set it for 20 minutes because that's gonna feel more doable than like 45 or 60 uh, and move things closer to their ideal homes if they don't have a home. And the whole goal is just to make it better than it currently is. And you can add music, add a podcast uh, to make the task more enjoyable. Now, if you are a person that prefers to pile your papers instead of filing, you can use something like a stackable drawer system just like this to organize your active project papers and label the outside uh, so you know exactly what goes where. Now, if you have a long to-do list, it can feel overwhelming um, and even paralyzing. So instead, start each day by grabbing a sticky note, writing down your top three priorities for the day. Uh, to figure out your priorities, you're gonna ask yourself what is important to you, plus what is timely, focus on that. And then you can put all your completed sticky notes on a board so you have that uh, visible proof of progress. And you're just gonna keep this anywhere that you'll see it in your house. So now that the holidays are over uh, and we've received a bunch of things, it's a great time to share with others. So one of the keys to staying organized is A, B, C, D. It's always be consistently decluttering Meaning when you come across something you no longer need, use, or love, you're going to toss it into a basket to share with someone in need. Once the basket is filled, drop it off at your favorite charitable organization, continue to refill it, and label it with something that inspires you to give, such as, how can I help someone today, or uh, give what you need. So uh, documents we tend to misplace, tax documents, receipts. The key is giving these things a home, just like this poly wow. envelope right here, where you label the outside with what goes inside. You can also create a checklist on uh, what is going to specifically go inside to avoid any possible confusion uh, for your future self. It's all good stuff. So, We're going to take a break here and put some more tips on our website. But labeling, it's labeling is key, isn't it? We'll be right back. Yeah, yeah.